Hey, it's Matt Hayes, XL Primetime, 12 to 3, every day on 1010XL. Here's my thoughts on the big three in the state of Florida as college football gets ramped up. It's week one in Gainesville, Utah. Pac-12 champions from last year roll into Gainesville. A big game for Utah, a big game for Florida new coach Billy Napier. It's time to see what all that work of the last eight months can produce. Utah's a very talented team, is the favorite, and if Florida can win that game, that would be a not only a big upset, but would be a fantastic start to Billy Napier's career. On Sunday, Florida State travels to New Orleans for a de facto LSU home game. It may be a neutral game, but it will be an LSU home game. There'll be 75,000 LSU fans in that stadium. Florida State looked solid last week against Duquesne. They ran the ball well. I'm still waiting to see Jordan Travis become more of a thrower, a consistent thrower, and they're gonna need that again against LSU. If Florida State does not have balance on offense, they're in trouble against LSU. The Miami Hurricanes begin a new era under Mario Cristobal. And it's almost like the old Florida teams under Steve Spurrier, where they would take the first two games and kind of understand where you are as a team. It's two cupcakes, you feel good about yourself. And then the Tennessee game to ride. Well, with Miami, it's Bethune-Cookman. This week, it's Southern Miss next week. And then it's week three. They travel to College Station to play Texas A&M. That's what we're gonna find out about the eight months of work that Mario Cristobal and his staff has put in with this group. Are they tougher? Are they a group that can go out there and make plays in crunch time? And how about Tyler Van Dyke? How much has he progressed over the eight months with a new staff? It's gonna be exciting to watch it play out. That's what I'm looking for for the big three in the state of Florida this week as college football kicks off.